today I have a cobalt and 40 volt brushless lawnmower and uh, I'm going to do a tear down of this lawnmower oh hello yeah he's checking out my lawnmower too you want a brushless motor because that's what I want to go after and inside here there is a 40 volt brushless motor that I want to go after and that motor is perfect for building an electric bike electric go-kart or electric scooter so let's get started pop the wheels out first we got a 12 millimeter bolt pretty easy these are good wheels it's got real bearings on both sides all right i got the wheels out next step is to remove this handle and the hinges and we got a switch here that is attached to this handle and I have to remove the switch so there are four torque screw T20 size we got the handles out next step is to remove the blades we got a 15 millimeter bolt here and I've got a piece of wood here on the bottom to stop the blade from spinning and while you're doing this keep your hands away from this area you put your hands here while you're trying to remove the bolt if this slips out and the blade spin you'll cut your hands in half next step is to remove the motor housing and we have to remove four torque screws on the bottom here size T30 if you have a lot of grass down here, sometimes the screw is buried inside, so you have to dig it out. Here's what the screw looks like. Now it should come out like that. So here is the motor housing, and we still have two wires that got stuck to it from the handle switch but this one is easy I just need to disconnect it and here's the motor housing and the motor is all the way on the bottom here so I have to remove all of the plastic covers in order to assess the four screws that uh, hold down the motor so to remove the covers we have four screws on the bottom here these are t20 torque screws and also two more t20 screws all the way in the bottom there we got two screws deep inside there so you're gonna need a long screwdriver t20 in order to open this well it still doesn't want to come out turns out that it still has two more screws hidden underneath this sticker so one here on this side one here on this side now it should come out so here it is we got the DC brushless controller and the 40 volt brushless DC motor that is beautiful and coming into the motor we got the three pin three phase power cable and five pin hall sensor cable and here's the motor I just pulled out the lawnmower case looks beautiful dimension 4 inches in diameter and 2.75 inches thick I'm gonna zoom in and show you the coils it has a lot of coils in here total of 12 of these copper coils as a comparison the motor from this impact driver here which is very powerful only has 6 coils this it's 12 coils and the magnets on this are quite powerful I can barely turn the shaft with my hand it's time to put it to the test I have connected the motor to my e-bike controller 48 volt and I've connected the 48 volt battery throttle the three phase power cable and the hall sensor cable to the controller and that's all I need 
I also have a tackle meter here to measure how many RPM this motor runs. The wires on this motor are not color coded. It's not the same color as the wires on the controller. So on the controller you have the three phase wire. It's yellow, green and blue and it's universal for all e-bike controller. And the hall sensor is also universal. But the color on here doesn't match the color on the e-bike controller. But that's a way to figure out how to connect these wires to the controller even though you don't know the colors of the wires and I'm going to show you that in my next video. But right now let's go ahead and test this thing. I can go real slow on this. Sounds like an airplane. Wow, something smoking. What is that? All right, so here's what's smoking. The wires on these alligator clips are too thin. Look, it melted the wire and they got stuck together. Look at that. All three wires. Isn't that crazy? Check this out. These two wires, they're fused together. I can't even pull them out. Wow. Look at that. Look at this. It melted the wire and exposed the copper. That's crazy. That shows how powerful this motor is. It pulls a lot of currents, even when it's not under load. All right, I have replaced with some thicker wires. Let's try this again. I have noticed my controller is getting hot too. This controller is only 350 watts, so it looks like it cannot handle this motor. And the motor stays cool, it's not even warm. So that shows how powerful this motor is. Not even under load. And it already melted wire. And the controller gets pretty hot. I would say you're gonna need something like a 1500 watt to 2000 watt controller. Something like this in order to handle this motor. And this test won't be complete without a 60 volt battery test. So let's give it a go. You ready? <laughs> so like an airplane. <laughs> So 11,000 RPM. I just looked at the footage again and I got around 11,500,000 RPM. At some point it got to even over 12,000 RPM. That's amazing. It's going to be great for a go-kart. And that's all I have for now. Next video I'm going to show you how to figure out and connect your brushless motor to your controller when your motor has wires that are not color coded like this one here. Until next time, thanks for watching.